Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichijo, episode number six, reaction. All right. In the previous episode, we get to uh, see the game between <laughs> Mai and uh, Yuko. Rock paper scissors game where the person who loses hits the other person. Mai really was not uh, uh, what can I say like you know doing according to the rules. She she was not hitting and uh, sometimes she was hitting when she was not supposed to hit all that things so. Uh, Yuko gets a little bit you know uh, mad at that and uh, she's like why are you doing this and in the end Mai is uh, like oh I don't care and uh, <laughs> the way she kind of delivers her lines you know with the that like you know very, very nonchalant face and the way she's so unpredictable that's like what makes Mai most of the time so funny and it's, it's hilarious to see what she's going to do the next time so <laughs> that was funny and then there was that section with the professor and um, Nano where professor oh and Sakamoto as well where professor kind of draws on the um, Daruma and she thinks that she's going to get scolded because of that and does like some weird stuff to like you know to escape from the uh, like, you know <laughs> the upcoming uh, outburst of Nano so uh, yeah that was funny and uh, she, she thought like Nano was going to ban her from eating snacks or something that's why she kind of like kind of tried to uh, pull the whole thing under the rug by saying like oh i'm giving birth to it and then <laughs> she she used the daruma and like you know started doing weird stuff and obviously nana was extremely surprised she was shocked and uh, yeah and uh, the next part is the part where we get to see uh Mio's and drawing skills uh <laughs> We see the teacher like you know adding drawings to like you know the the test papers and all. So Yuko went there and Yuko started like you know ske sketching some like you know picture of the uh, like you know boys. And obviously we know Mio is like you know like a person who draws doujinshi's. So she she obviously since it's like you know related to sketching and uh, like you know drawing pictures. She went there and she tried to like you know like drew some very handsome people. But unfortunately, his art, her art style was not favored by the teacher and Yuko. That's why in the end, he, she got so mad. And she like, you know, she was like, you know, drawing people with the glasses. And she's like, oh, look at this. This is so good, isn't it? But they were not having it. And in the end, she just drew a very, you know, like, um, quest, uh, like suggestive picture. Which she realizes after drawing it, she realizes I've messed up. And then in the next day of the test, <laughs> the teacher actually included those pictures, which was hilarious. <laughs> so that was the previous episode. Let's see what this episode brings, what more weird shenanigans we have to see. So let's get started. This is episode number six of Nichi Jo. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two. One, go. <clears throat> Why is cooked pork? Why is cooked pork? All right. Secret ingredient. I, oh my God, I feel it's going to be something spicy or something. Oh. <laughs> Wait, then what? Oh my god, it's that bad? Oh. What the? What is that then? What type of secret ingredient? <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't have any clue about cooking ingredients. <laughs> I can't say because she said something like, oh, the more I chew it, it gets the worse. I have no clue what it, it could be. <laughs> oh, boy.
All right, let's see. Oh my god. I always think that the night environment... Hmm. What? All right, she wrote something. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a kappa? Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I don't know what to say. Okay. Giant demon. Um. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. It's, all right, Kapash. Parasite. Wait, no, that's. Oh no, that's not how. Okay, she understood that at least. They. Oh no. Okay. What is that? Tengu, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Goo, okay, goo. What? Oh my. Go, okay, with the go. Go. Golem? Wait, what? Go. Wait! <laughs> wow, this is great. What, what type of misunderstanding is this? Oh no. <laughs> so she knew the pronunciation, but she wrote the spelling wrong. Wow. <laughs> what is that? That's not a cow. Shita. Oh, okay. Shita. Dumb. Okay. She needs to, okay, she needs to get her pronunciation. Shisu. Tushi Sishu, okay. What? Superman, what? Oh my god, this is... <laughs> oh no. Go suck a Oh, this is that guy. Helvetica standard, she's reading that. That we get to see. Okay. No, she doesn't even. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, didn't pay attention. All right. <laughs> Is she writing a hike? Okay.
<laughs> well, obviously, what else do you expect? <laughs> it's a nice weather outside. Oh, I, I know the scene. Okay. This is the most famous scene that I've, I feel like everyone I've seen at least once. <laughs> And there, there he is, the principal. <laughs> it's nice that the deer is actually waiting for him. <laughs> He's fine. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I didn't see this. Okay, I, I don't remember this part, but... Alright, he was practicing. <laughs> oh no! Yo, blood! <laughs> this? Ah, uh, but he's he's standing up again. And here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the most important part of this clip. Here it comes. And there you go. <laughs> the principal is bald. Um. <laughs> There's truth from the bottom of her heart. Wow. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> she, she has two buckets now. <laughs> okay, so the deer is now his pet or something? <laughs> oh my god i'm pretty sure everyone has seen that scene at least once kenyan soccer okay wow this is pretty exciting hmm <laughs> okay what the what type of a ah oh my god okay injured yellow card or whatever free kick Oh wait, that's it? Okay. Oh, we've not seen the professor and the... and Nano in this... 
Yeah, yeah, she does like her shards, so. Okay. Okay, who's it this time? What? Okay, is he going to do it this? Oh, never mind. What? What's happening? Oh! She caught a cockroach. Okay. Whoa, what type of cockroach is that? That's a very strong cockroach. <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh. Huh. <laughs> Detergent? Oh. Um. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh my god. Th yeah, that's that's really scary. Just close your mouth. <laughs> what that that means the same thing but okay <laughs> what okay sakamoto can do something Oh no. Yeah. All right. All right. And please open it. <laughs> well, obviously, like, what else do you expect? <laughs> Wait, what is happening? <laughs> okay. Nothing. Unless and unless and until the cockroach is gone. But you need to lift it up. All right. But you need to lift it. What? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um well. oh, Okay, okay. Your the the cockroach Yeah, wow. <laughs> Are they going to show what happened? No, I don't think so. There you go. Count to ten. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. All right. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, it's part four. Hmm. Uh. Um. Um. What? Wait, what happened? Okay, that. All right, that was a bit confusing. Hmm. Because she's fishing, she's making the food. Okay, and his she's barbecuing. Hmm. Okay, don't. Don't. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Yeah, no one noticed that. How? Wait, what is she doing? What are those? I don't think so. Ah! <laughs> I don't think that's going to... <laughs> oh no, wait, what's happening? Oh no, she's mad, she's pissed. Oh my god. Uh, did, did she get some fish? Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. One fish. Die, what is this? <laughs> Just released it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, she brought her stuff. Great. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Oh no, she's going to slurp each and everything. Oh my god! <laughs> was, that, was that deliberate? Was that de <laughs> Oh no, I'm... Oh my god, what is this? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> um wait, what? 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 <laughs>
fuck? <laughs> oh no! What is that? Vinegar? What? You, you can't drink vinegar? Oh no. Alright, no. Oh, is there still something left? Oh, what? Oh god, what? <laughs> How are they sleeping? Aren't they hungry? What? Like a random dog? Wait, where's... I feel like... This, this ending is a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, this ending is a little bit different. Yeah, the style of this ending is a bit different. Okay, there's still <clears throat> the last section left, I guess. Oh, what is this? Short thoughts. After a bath. Okay. Okay, so. Wait. Oh, I've heard this voice. The Madao's voice from Gintama, isn't it? Tachiki. Tachiki. Tachiki Fumihito. I'm pretty sure this is Madao's voice from Gintama. There you go. No, yeah. Tai, uh, yeah, there you go. Taizo Hasegawa. <coughs> Let me check. Let me just double check. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Taizo Hasegawa or Madao from <laughs> Gintama. <laughs> you know what's funny? Oh. I, I I forgot actually forgot his original name that is Hasegawa. Like I just remembered Madao. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, this episode. So <clears throat> we begin with secret in ingredient. Um, Miko, uh, Mio went to um Yuko's place, and uh, there's like uh, Kanish. What was that? Uh, double, f twice cooked pork. Okay, twice cooked pork. She was given, and Yuko's like, "Oh, I have uh, included a secret um, ingredient." I thought it was going to be like you know, like uh, spicy or something. But the the questionable thing here is Mio herself wasn't able to actually figure out what it was. It at the beginning it tasted like normal, but then it started getting I think weirder as she chewed. And then finally, she started crying, and I'm like, "Wow, what what type of a secret ingredient is this?" Um, unfortunately, I have no clue because I I I I don't have anything. I don't know anything much about cooking and stuff. So maybe people who actually cook could actually tell the answer what it can be, you know? Because the more you chew, the more it tastes more weirder. So yeah, I have no idea. But it was it, it was probably something that you could just thought that oh this will be very like a good change of you know taste and just added it and yeah <laughs> this is yuko we are talking about so all right the next part we see 
them playing um, picture shiritori. Um, it started in a weird way because at first Yuko was like, oh, I, I like, no, she, she was like, okay, I, I, I was able to draw something really cool. And she drew, drew a kappa and uh, sent it to um, Mio, who was in front of him, uh, uh, in front of her. And <laughs> her drawings are just, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, like, so at first Mio was like, all right, so what should I do? And she's like, all right, let's draw something fantasy themed and kappa, pa, so parasite. She drew parasite and she let it go behind her. And uh, uh, Yuko was like, all right, uh, this is a parashite. I think that's what she's parashit. No, parashite. I think that's what she said. Yeah. And <laughs> she's like, all right. So <laughs> I don't know why she pronounced it like that. But <laughs> anyways, um, but she did understand it was picture shiritori. So she's like, all right, te. What should I do with te? She drew a picture of Tengu and wrote Tengo you know, underneath. Now, the funny thing here is, I'm pretty sure Mio and I as well thought that she thought that it is pronounced as Tengo. That's why she wrote Tengo underneath. That was not the case. She knew it was called Tengu and still she wrote it as Tengo. That means she knew it was called Tengu but made a spelling mistake, most probably. And <laughs> that's what happened. That was like a full blown misunderstanding. Mio was like, all right, she thinks it's called Tengo. So let's go with Go. So instead of with Gu, she goes with Go and she's like, all right, uh, Goku. All right, I, I really have no idea what, what, okay, like, like, what, what go, she drew a, a person, Goku, I, I don't know if it's like a, is this like a reference to Son Goku or something, I, I, I don't know, so I have no idea what this, this, this whole reference was. But anyways, <clears throat> she she wrote that and she, she not wrote but drew that. And here the misunderstanding continues where Yuko was like, oh, she, oh like I gave a Tengu picture and she started with Go. She must have been like, you know, misunderstanding it. Like, my God, the f <laughs> so <clears throat> she made the spelling mistake. Which Mio thought that, all right, let me go with Go because she thinks it's called Tengo. And she started with Go, at which Yuko's like, oh, she misunderstood the pronunciation. She must think it's called Tengo. That's why she went with Go. Ah, silly her. Let's, <laughs> let's pay along. Like the weird misunderstanding here. My God. Anyways, then she, she's like, all right, Goku, Go. Just a sec. Uh, what did she write with Ku? Uh, draw. All right. So here we go. She uh, uh, she drew Uni Usa and <laughs> and then Ushi. Oh my God. So first of all, as far as I know, Uni means eel. I think Usa means rabbit and uh, ushi is cow so at first she was like uni then she was like no usa like and then she was like oh my god like i i cannot drop well so she draw an drew an usi or ushi which is a cow and what type of a cow is that that looks so, like some weird alien cow like <laughs> i have no idea but yeah so <laughs> She's like, all right, fine. U she, with she is shita, which means tongue. So she drew a boy with a tongue. And uh, shita, then with ta, Yuko writes 
taxi and she wrote it as <laughs> taxi t a x y <laughs> taxi <laughs> not taxi but taxi <laughs> oh no okay all right now th this part I, I i don't understand properly c okay so the next part she draws tissue and she's like all right i'll just draw whatever so she, it's actually sushi but she wrote tissue and uh, which obviously makes us with taxi and it's a slang i guess they kind of uh like you know kind of use it in everyday words kind of like you know just calling sushi as sishu just like I, I remember like you know this another, another slang which they kind of use i've seen in animes where they call senpai as pai sen they just like you know reverse the words which which is like a, a way to like you know kind of show endearment or something they can call you know you can call their senpai as pai sen <laughs> so something like that here as well like sushi or sishu all right so this time she writes with sue superman okay and she's like all right i cannot like you know it cannot like you know it won't end properly so she's like i cannot write superman she wrote supermans and uh, <laughs> grammar has left the <laughs> left the chat <laughs> supermans i'm pretty sure that it was something similar to like you know the japanese translation and mio is like what the hell is this and she like you know kind of crossed the ending part and made the <laughs> thing sense properly like you know made the uh uh the the the, the, the whatever what do you call that the word sense proper properly just corrected his her mistake <laughs> my god that was funny all right um <clears throat> next we get to the go soccer club that that part where sekiguchi that's the name of the girl and this guy he's like oh let's have a like, let's play a little game and they kind of he kind of does like a say you know like that whole thing with the i don't know how, what that game is but it's probably something what she he was doing like you know she he kind of put one finger up while I'm guessing Sekiguchi was supposed to do something. He doesn't do something, at least he doesn't see her doing something. So he's like, why are you not playing? And then we see that she actually put a finger out and he just didn't notice that. And uh, <clears throat> here I can see that she, she's the one who reads Helvetica standard. So whenever the Helvetica standard section comes up, it's basically the manga that she reads. We're getting that story, sections of it. Okay, the next part. Is the part which I'm pretty sure most of the people who are like you know who watch anime and everything have seen, even though they have not watched Nichijo. You know, this is one scene I've seen in so many Try Not to Laugh, uh, you know, like clips, and this is one of the most famous ones of Nichijo. <clears throat> A deer is in the middle of the school and uh, in the garden, and the principal comes in, and we get an epic battle between the principal and the deer uh multiple times the d like in the principal tries to grab the deer at first he tries to use a rope nothing happens the deer just completely like you know bashes him in the stomach and he falls down then he gets up again this time uses a biscuit to try to get it but again he just like you know just bashes him in his stomach he tries to get on top of his own statue and tries to give like you know like uh like you know the wrestling move and then he gets up again, tries to do it again, but then realizes that it, it wouldn't matter. Comes down, like, you know, kind of on his own. And, you know, these things are happening while Yuko is just freaking out. And <laughs> Yuko's like, oh my god, the principal is dying. And then the deer again pummels him. And then we get to see how the principal is surviving. You know, like, if a, if a deer actually bashes you like that in your stomach multiple times, you know, you're going to be dead. You know, no one can save you. But we see he has like a bulletproof jacket. And I'm like, all right, so that's why. And this time he's like, all right, I'm, sh I'm going to show my actual power. He grabs the deer. The deer also tries to like, you know, kind of defeat him. But he, like, you know, just 
you can just completely turns and like you know just bashes the uh, deer onto the ground using his wrestling move and yeah his wig falls down and i think this is like you know you you goes the only person who knows that the principal wears a wig <laughs> you go you know seeing that in an excitement she just opens the door and she tries to she i don't she, she herself probably didn't know what to say because she was so many emotions were in her she was excited at the same time she was surprised she was just she just wanted to express this to his fr her friends you know like she opened the door and she was like stuttering she was like oh the principal you know it's amazing and just stuttering she's thinking like okay if i tell this the principal's secret will be out you know that she wears a wig <laughs> and you know he's kind of but still she wants to say something because she's excited to see that the principal defeated the deer but at the same time she's like oh and that's why she just was stuttering and uh, in the end she was like you know what let us uh, in respect for, for the principal that the principal defeated that deer with that amazing battle in respect for that let me not say anything like nothing is happening in the locker room and uh, in the hallway <laughs> the teacher probably got angry and <laughs> gave her two buckets to hold outside as a punishment <laughs> buckets filled with water <laughs> and you could see that principal you know has tied the rope on the deer and is taking the deer with him <laughs> and she was like you know like a talk like a kind of composing haikus all right the next one 10 yen soccer okay this one you know what the interesting thing is um i remember like uh, we used to play a game like this when we were in school uh, with a little bit of a difference here we can see that they're playing with coins i remember in my school days you know um we used to use pens you know like i don't know if, if like you know if any of you guys did it but we used to have use our pens you know like there would be two people just like how they were like you know flicking their coin towards the other person and trying to score goals we did not try to score goals, but our goal, like, you know, what we used to do is use our pens to completely, like, you know, just knock the other opponent's pen out of the, the table. If it falls down, the other person loses. And I remember we used to play this so much. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of the same here as well. While, while here, they, 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 like, you know, they kind of use it as a football kind of thing. We used to just like flick uh, our pens at the other pe uh, kind of people's pens and you know whoever w was able to you kind know, of like make the pain go out would win so here I, I got reminded of that and this was the funny section when Mio as I, like, you know, as we saw Mio usually does so many weird stuff so I was kind of thinking what she's going to do now you flick the coin and it hit so hard that deflected and just hit Yuko in her chin and oh my god mm -hmm. alright the next part is where Nano has caught a cockroach and uh, the cockroach was in the bowl and she was like oh my god if I release this this devil spawn is going to come out and it's going to make our life way like you know way bad than it already is so what should i do um she thought about using spray but she's like no if i use spray it won't die easily and then she also thought about using the detergent but then she's like no if i use the detergent it's going to fly towards me and yeah cockroaches do does do that you know like if they see that they're in danger or something they're going to fly towards you and that's freaky in a way like I don't have any problem with cockroach, but if a cockroach tries to like you know fly towards you, towards your face, it is a little bit un uncomfortable, you know. And uh, yeah, that's that's really like you know weird. So <laughs> flying cockroaches are dangerous. <laughs> but other way, I like you know. But other than that, I don't like you know see much problem with cockroaches. 
but different people have different you know like fears and i've seen the cockroach is one of the most common fears in people i however don't have that much problems with cockroach because i like we had to dissect cockroaches in our school you know in our, in our science classes so that's why i'm i'm used to cockroaches but yeah if they fly towards you that's a different thing <laughs> oh my god and she took it way further than it usually happens she's like oh my god how what's going to happen if it gets into my mouth i'm like why like you know why would it get into your mouth <laughs> just close your mouth <laughs> it won't get in <laughs> oh my god Oh, that was funny and then I was thinking like okay like maybe Sakamoto can do something Sakamoto comes in and Sakamoto is like all right fine I'll help you out and she doesn't open the bowl Sakamoto is like what are you doing open the bowl I'm otherwise how will I be able to get it and she's like are you crazy like you know it's impossible why should I open the bowl and let this thing outside <laughs> Sakamoto is like then how should I catch it <laughs> And I was like, lift it yourself. And Sakamoto was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Just goes away. And next comes Nan uh, uh, Professor. Professor is like, oh, like, you know, I, I, where's food? I, I need food. I'm hungry or something. She was saying like that. And Nan was like, okay, Professor, help me out. There's a cockroach. You need to defeat it. And she's like, okay, takes the takes a like you know a roll of uh, the, the book or whatever and wax nano in his in her head <laughs> and starts laughing oh my god that that scene was so funny oh my god and <laughs> nano's like professor like you know i i hate you this is, like you know why are you doing it this it like this and professor starts crying <laughs> and nano's like i'm sorry professor like, you know, like, I, I, I i i lied i lied that was a joke no, and then professor calms down, hugs her, and due to the excitement, the thing you know, lifts up, and the cockroach probably went outside. I don't know how Nano handled it after that, but yeah, that was not shown. <laughs> I don't know how they survived that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then there was few little sections where professor and Nano were in the bath, and the professor was like. Oh, I, I want to go out. It's too hot. Nano's like, count 1 to 10. Yeah, that was that. And then the, again, the whole thing with Sekiguchi. Okay, this part I don't understand. He, the guy, says like, if everyone's gone to the cram, Sekiguchi, don't you go to cram? And here, Sekiguchi looks at him. Blushes looks down and he's like, What? Kind of looks at her again. And she, he's like, Oh, you're joking. Like, okay, I don't get and understand this part. One thing that I'm, I think it's, I, I probably, I, I think I understand why Sayuguchi acted like that. Because as far as I could see, like, Sayuguchi probably likes him. And that's why she tries to spend as, as much time as she can with him. Even with the whole uh, red light, green light section. So, I can, it's probably because of that that she blushed and just looked down. I, I understand that. I don't understand why the guy like, was like, oh, really? Or something like that, he says in the end. I don't understand that part. Like, what did he understand? Like, you know, I doubt he understood that Sayuji likes him. I doubt that. So what did he understand? That that part is a little bit confusing to me. I I don't understand that. Anyways, um, all right, the final section. I think this section was the most hilarious part of this episode. The like you know, the the the, um, the the deer portion was funny as well, but this part is particularly so funny. <laughs> like <laughs> the way everything kind of like you know happens in chain reaction in like the domino effect, you know like first of all everyone's doing their own thing um yuko is like, you know making curry um mio i really wasn't able to understand what mio was doing at the beginning 
you know like i was like what is she doing and then i understood uh, uh, there was like there, there were containers in which it, there were there was rice I, I at first i was i really wasn't i wasn't able to understand what she was trying to do but then i realized she was cooking rice and um, mine was fishing so <laughs> my god you go grabs the thing uh, the curry box uh yep it drops from her hand. <laughs> Mio didn't really didn't understand at the beginning what happened. Then when she noticed that the the curry has fallen, <laughs> she gets so mad that this like weird aura coming out of her, and she's like, "You're, you're gonna die!" And she tries to, you know, go and you know, like tries to go and um, catch her. And trips and the rice falls and the rice is all just like you know completely just wasted. They then they realize what happened. The the curry is gone, the rice is gone. There's no food. And Mio is like Mio gets up. Uh, what's her name? Um, Yuko gets up and <laughs> goes to Mai and is they're like. My, we're so sorry, you know, the, the, the food is completely destroyed. We still have the jelly noodles, so yeah, maybe we can share this. And they see that my get, cats catches a fish, and I'm like, oh, that's good. You know, they can, like, you know, like, barbecue the fish or do something with it. You know, roast the fish or, yeah, like, and then eat it, fry the fish. And she, <laughs> she releases it back. <laughs> She releases it back to the stream and <laughs> that that took me by surprise. I was not expecting that. I, I what you know what I thought was going to happen? I thought she was going to eat it herself. I thought that's how this is going to go. I was not expecting her just releasing it. <laughs> oh my god, that took me by, by a huge surprise. Anyways, they're like, alright, like we are technically at fault for destroying the food. So you know what, uh, my you can get the first you know like portion of the jelly noodles, and they see that my has already brought her food with her. This is like French fries, milkshake, and a burger. She's just eating, <laughs> and Yuko and Mio, their face is just. Then they're like, all right, let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins will get it. Rock, paper, scissors. Yuko wins. Yuko's like, alright, I'm going to eat it. She, oh my god. The way everything happens one after the other. She puts it in her mouth, chokes on the noodles, and... <laughs> it comes out of her mouth back into the pot. Of the noodle pot. Oh no, and... For a moment, I was like, did she do that deliberately? Then I'm like, no, she really choked. <laughs> and Mio just went, goes and just completely grabs her by the leg, throws her on the ground, and just start fighting. <laughs> At night, they're hungry. Like, like you know, the, the stomach is growling, and they're like, what should we do? And Yuko's like, all right, let's play some cards. Like, we cannot say that we lost. Uh, like, uh, sorry, we, we cannot say that we had such a bad, you know, like time. And even the Trump, I don't understand what happened there. Why is all the like she she has all like you know ace of hearts. I don't understand this part. But anyways, like that also failed, I guess. Um. Then the next part, uh, Mio gets up and Mio's like, all right, let's drink something, you know. And uh, don't you agree, Mai? And you see that Mai is always drinking something. <laughs> I love how she she brought everything separately because she probably knew stuff like this was going to happen. <laughs> oh no! And <laughs> Mio brings out a drink, and they see that she she has brought vinegar. <laughs> and, and oh my god, that was funny. And then in the end, a random dog comes in. I, I'm like, what is happening? A random dog comes in, and Yuko's like, you know, like leg 
just you know, kind of taps Yuko's leg with its paw. That's where it ends in a weird way. I don't know if this is going to continue in the next episode or that was just that, but we'll see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's how it ended. That was episode number six of Nichijo. Another really good episode. Oh my god, I loved the final section. The whole camping section was hilarious and the deer section. So, especially those two sections were just so good. So, yeah, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Nichijo episode number eight, uh, episode number six. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijo. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.